Welcome back, guys. So if you joined me last week, we did a little experiment with baking soda balls and vinegar, um, trying to find out what was inside of them. And the lesson that we learned was that the Lord looks on what's inside of you. He looks at the heart and not on what's on the outside of you. So we're going to sort of continue that story today. And today we're going to talk about a man named Zacchaeus. And some of you might know this story, but I'm going to read it to you anyway. Um, and Zacchaeus was a smaller man. He was short. Um, and, uh, well, let's just read the story. It says in Luke chapter 19, verses 2 to 10, A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. Okay, let's stop right there. So he was a tax collector. So that means that he took people's money. And he was wealthy. Um, and what Zacchaeus did was he actually took more than he was supposed to um, and kept some of the money for himself. And people just, they did not like Zacchaeus because he was uh, pretty much stealing from them. They all knew that. So he wanted to see who Jesus was because Jesus was going to pass through the town. But because he was short, he could not see over the crowd. Have you ever been there? I have. I'm a short person. I'm not tall at all. And you're standing in a bunch of people or, or even I was in a movie theater one time and the seats weren't going like this. This is the older days when they just had the seats straight across. And I sat behind this very tall man. Um, uh, he must have been six feet or more and I'm like barely over five feet. So he was really, really tall. But that wasn't even the problem. He had big hair. His hair went like this. And I literally could not see the movie screen because of this guy's hair. So I was like, Keys, buddy, I feel you. So he was so short, he couldn't see over the crowd. He ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him. So he went and he climbed a tree because he wanted to see Jesus that bad. Because people have talked, right? People talk. And he heard about who this Jesus guy was. And whoa, he's coming this way. I got to see this guy, right? So he climbed a tree since Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. So that must have shocked the people around them because they knew on the outside, they knew Zacchaeus was not a bad or was a bad guy. Um, he was a thief. He took their money. He was a tax collector and nobody likes tax collectors. So when Jesus stopped and called him by name without even knowing him, but Jesus knows us, um, it must have shocked a lot of people, including Zacchaeus. And not only did he tell him to come down immediately, he, Jesus went to his house. All the people saw this and began to mutter, he has gone to be the guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, look, Lord, here and now, I give half my possessions to the poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. So I'm going to do a little thing here with you. So this right here, this little ball, let's say this is Zacchaeus. And we're going to put Zacchaeus in here. Okay. Now all the bad stuff that Zacchaeus has done, all the sins, all the stealing of the people's money and all that. Let's get him into the center. It's, it's a lot, right? And people notice it. And it's burying Zacchaeus. He's buried under all these wrong choices. Under all his sin, Zacchaeus is buried. And that's how people see him. They look at him and they say, look at that sinner. Look at all the sin. All the bad things he's done. They don't see what's inside. They see what's on the outside, what he's done to them. But Jesus knows better. And Jesus stops and he's like, there's that Zacchaeus, but I know what's in his heart. And he calls him by name and he goes to his house and he sits with him. And Zacchaeus said he gives half of everything that he has to the poor. And if he's cheated anyone, the people that he stole from, if he's cheated anyone out of anything, he will pay back four times the amount. Zacchaeus wanted to make it right. Jesus said to him, today salvation has come to this house because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the son of man came to seek and save the lost. See, Zacchaeus is lost under all his sin. 
but Jesus knew him. And because of that, this is going to take a while. Jesus brought Zacchaeus out of his sin. We all do bad things and we all make bad choices, but we don't need to be stuck in them because Jesus knows who we are. And if we have a heart like Zacchaeus that wanted to make things right, but weren't sure quite the way how to do it, Jesus is the way. Jesus made a way for Zacchaeus to make it right. And the wrong things that he did, he was able to climb out of and stand on top of them. And it's all because of Jesus. And we can do the same thing. We've all made bad choices. We've all done bad things. But we don't need to be buried and covered by our sin. It doesn't need to be a load. It doesn't need to burden us. We just need to turn to Jesus. And we can make it right. And that's it for today, guys. Very short lesson. But I hope that you learned something. Um, so let's pray. And then we'll meet back again next week. Can't wait. Dear Jesus, God... I thank you, Lord, that we don't need to have the burden of our sin on our shoulders, God. That you have made a way through Jesus for our sins to be lifted off of us, to be forgiven, to be washed clean, our slate wiped clean so we can start again. And just like Zacchaeus, Lord, you see our heart and you know what's in there. Well, people look on the outside and only see the bad things that we've done and only talk about how bad that person is or this person is, God. You know what's on the inside and you know that if they have a heart, where they long to make it right, like Zacchaeus did, Lord, that you are there to make a way for them. And Lord, you're not going to shy from them. You're going to dine with them. You're going to come to our house and, and have some tea, Lord, and we're just going to um, have communion with you, Lord. And I just pray that you be with us, Lord, and as we stumble, as we fall, remind us that you're there to pick us up. And I praise you, God, and I give you all the glory, and I thank you, and I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.